Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Downshift. I'm your host Nestor and today we're finally getting around to installing the carbon fiber rocker panel extensions from AG Motorsports. Here's the box for the carbon fiber rocker panel extensions looking beautiful as always and they already have the hole there. So what we're gonna have to do is obviously first of all, clean the vehicle. Make sure that the rocker panel extensions or the ones that are currently on the car I should say are nice and clean and ready to go. So there's a couple of things you're going to need. Obviously you want to get a drill with a five millimeter bit at the end of it. You also want to get a rivet tool of some sort because you're actually going to get these right here and you're going to have to need this of course to cut off the end and this is what's actually going to go uh, on the bottom of the rocker panel extension in the five holes. Five per side, there's ten in total here, so that's just enough. Yes, we are going to be drilling holes on the bottom of the C8. I'm a little bit nervous, but honestly, I think we got this in the bag. It's really nothing too, too serious. And of course, we are going to have to lift the car a little bit. So you can either get ramps to drive up uh, the car a little bit so you can get that extra room. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is getting two car jacks and doing this in our garage. So wish us luck. Here we go. All right, guys, we are back. We have the car jacked up. And uh, just to show you guys really quick where the correct jack points are, you can tell just by looking at how far away it is from the wheel wells. And then let's go to the backhand one as well here. As you can see, it's very, very close. I've seen some people using the points here, which are actually tie downs for dynoing the car. Make sure you don't mistake that because uh, that'd be a disaster, wouldn't it? It would be a big massacre. So we have the carbon fiber here. This is the rocker panel extension. We are on the driver's side first. Go ahead and put it on. And um, what we're gonna have to make sure to do here is push both sides on the back and the front of it together and make it even, right? yeah and make it even while we're drilling so the first thing we're going to do here is grab our drill and we actually have a smaller bit at the end of this one what we're going to be doing is actually drilling through the underside through the hole that's provided in the carbon fiber rocker panel yep. and we're going to be doing the middle one first yeah so you want to start and balance it out in the middle and then work your way outwards there's five all together All right, so we have it test fitted. We did four holes out of six because we can't get the one right here because of the jack. And so I think four is probably enough and it's less holes. So yeah, yeah. it's not absolutely necessary anyways to drill the holes in. It's just for like an added layer of safety, of course. Yeah. The adhesive would hold up, but we want to make sure that this never ever comes off, of course. And so yeah. we are drilling. Yeah, we were told that the adhesive is enough, but we're keeping it safe. And just for reference, we did the two in the middle and one on each outer end. Exactly. We gotta pull back the adhesives and then we're gonna put it right back on. So just like that. Yep, make sure they're poking out so that we can pull them off afterwards without any kind of problems. That's it. All right, we're just gonna fold that back. Make sure all corners are folded. So this guy has to be poking out like that. Yep, got all them poking out. Final guys right all here. All right, let's go ahead and put it on. So, okay, so we're grabbing the uh, the rivet tool here. Yep. We put the, what do you call that? Like a rivet? I don't know what the, that the is rivet. called. <laughs> okay, well, we got the rivet inside the rivet gun. We're gonna go ahead and do one of these center ones here. Yep. So just put it inside, oh, make it sure it goes. Nice. Yep, yeah, and now you just squeeze it, right? That is it, let's see. Everything's lined up in terms of the panel on, on my end here. All right. Oh, there it was, okay. I think that's, there's... There we go. All right, so the actual pin itself comes out. Fair enough. And it's it's in there. So let's get the camera close up yep. so you guys can see what we did. Okay, so this is what's left behind after you're done with the rivet gun. It kind of just leaves this and pulls out the, the pole itself or punctures it. And uh, it holds the carbon fiber in place very nicely. And of course, this is on the underside, so nobody will ever see this. So that was my first time using a rivet gun. Not too bad at all. This is the actual rivet that we've shown you, and that is what's left after you break it. Right, so it seems like this piece itself, exactly. the circle stays in the car, yep. and uh, and the rest just comes right out. Yeah, so that end goes right in, this probably squishes, so then it doesn't tug, and that's it. And you're left with that. Push All right, so what we're doing now is uh, we're gonna take the adhesives off and make sure that it sticks to the panel itself. We have the first rivet in, so now the instructions say to make sure this adheres to the panel. Once that's done, we'll get the final rivets in, the final three, and we'll be done with the side. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do here is pull this 
We have to be very careful to make sure this doesn't uh, doesn't snap. actually snap. Yep. You want to actually pull? I can record. Yep. It's going pretty smoothly. We're starting at the top here. Just keep on keep on pulling it back. Keep on chugging along. Yeah. Oh, it's getting a little tight. Yeah, it's gonna get tight towards the middle because that's where the rivet's at. Let's just hope it doesn't snap, of course, because that would suck. And <laughs> it snapped. Okay. We can take a. We can get something to uh, to pull that out. All right. So we're pulling the actual adhesive. That was nice. the easy one. Yep, that was the easy one. Back this to is this the top one. now. Yeah, pull it nice and slowly. Make sure you're getting as much as you can off. I'm trying to be as even as humanly possible here. Yep, yep. Must be tough. Because we uh, broke one end. Oh. It's getting tight, isn't it? Yep, we're getting... Okay. Try your best. I think we're going to get it. Oh, yeah. It's nice and easy. So the key to this, guys, is pull this very slowly and evenly throughout the front all the way to the back. We have this tiny, tiny little piece right there that we're just going to pull out with some pliers. Obviously, got to be delicate because we don't want to scratch the carbon fiber. Okay, guys, so we are basically done with this carbon fiber rocker panel. We have four rivets done. One at the front, one all the way at the back, and then two in the center. We didn't do this one that's just above the jack point, and, uh, and one more there just to even it out. Um, but overall, pretty solid. So the driver's side carbon fiber rocker panel extension is on. That is one side done. I think it looks so good. Massive shout outs to AG Motorsports yet again, guys, for, uh, for supplying us with this. It is just incredible looking. And of course, matches the carbon fiber mirrors and even the carbon fiber engine cover that they sent us, if you guys can see that. Now really quickly, again guys, this stuff is 100% carbon fiber. There's no fiberglass top coating. Um, it's made with the newest autoclave technology and it is pre-pregnated carbon fiber. So the craftsmanship, the quality, everything is gonna be there the first time. You won't have any problems when you're ordering with AG Motorsports. So we're now onto the passenger side. It took us a little bit of time with that. This one should go way quicker. We've got the small drill bit, then we're gonna follow it up with the big one. Let's get right to it. All right, so we're changing over now to the uh, the thicker drill bit, the five millimeter. We're gonna go through all four holes once again. It's important, guys. Remember that you you have to put a lot of pressure on the actual carbon fiber rocker panel because you don't want there to be any panel gaps. So when you're drilling the holes, make sure you're applying a lot of pressure to make sure this end, the middle, and the front end are lined up all the way against the panel of the car. All right, so all four holes done, the five millimeter is in. What we're gonna do now, instead of doing a first rivet, is making sure that the adhesives are, um, are exposed. Yes. We're gonna pull it all the way off. Then, then once the adhesive yes. is ready to get sticked onto the panel, push it all the way for what, five minutes, few minutes, we'll hold it. Yeah, it's warm it's, enough. Yeah, and then, and then we'll do the rivets at the end. Yep. All right, so as you guys can see, we got all four sides here. We're just gonna put it over like this. Make sure it's nice and uh, fold over so that it's uh, peeking out. Yep. This one's like that as well. And let's put it on the vehicle. We just have to make sure that the holes are lined up before yes. we actually start peeling. So let's check underneath. How are we looking? Okay, so this one's looking good. I'll show you guys a view of the underside at good. the end. Yeah, they're uh, good. They're all looking good. Let me just check this last one. So let's start with this one here. Yeah. Okay. That's off. This so one. now we're just gonna press this obviously. Yep. Remember we can't push too hard oh, this here. This one's way easier. Well, because I'm folding, I'm folding a bit. So I'm pulling, I'm rolling this down so that he can actually okay, pull it. It's getting tight here. Let me. I'm rolling, I'm rolling for you. Okay, okay so adhesive is coming off nicely. This one's gonna be good. So we got the adhesive peeled off completely. And uh, now we're gonna go in with the with the rivet tool here and yep. uh, make sure it's clamped in place and doesn't ever move. Fall, 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 fall. We're okay, we're okay. Fall, 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 fall. 
Full, full, full. Yeah, this one goes much faster. That's suspension. Suspension doing its job. Woo. All right guys, so we are finally done with the install of the carbon fiber rocker panel extensions. Again, massive shout out to AG Motorsports. Yes. They killed it on this, and I think this was the final accent we needed to make this side profile of the car look just disgusting and oh, nasty, yeah. in a good way, of course. Yeah, and especially with this carbon fiber mirror cap, yep. it just pops so much better. We're so tired from it, yeah. but like right when we saw it, we were yep. like, damn. Yeah, it looks crazy. This whole process took us, what, three hours probably, I would say, in total? I, I think so, About yeah. three hours, which is a bit long, but again, we are noobs at this kind of stuff. It's we're a not nice that DIY. Great. It's a nice we DIY. We get to learn the car. Yeah. Definitely. Yep, but uh, it came out amazing overall. Just look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. AG Motorsports knocked it out of the park on this one and yep. their website has so much stuff and they're constantly developing things like the innovation is incredible they've got a high wing spoiler coming I think in a few months yep there's potentially a lip coming they're just check out their website you're not gonna be disappointed there's so much and if we're lucky, we might even see some more in our car. Alrighty guys, but that is gonna do it for the video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this install, if you learned something new, definitely drop a like as it supports the channel. Make sure to subscribe for more Corvette CA content, more modifications, all of that good stuff. And again, massive shout out to AG Motorsports. Check out their website in the links in the description and the top comments, all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.